Okay, hi guys. Uh, I'm gonna give this a go. A few days ago, I was taking down a tree, and it popped back and hit me in the side. And I think I cracked a rib. So it makes it hard to breathe, so I'm having trouble talking. Really difficult for me. So listen, I wanted to say a couple of things on this video. Uh, first of all, to all of uh, to Jeremy and. M. Grace and Seth, I will be coming to uh, Florida, and Jeremy, I'll be counting on you for making sure I can get somewhere or have some place to be, etc., etc., so thank you for that. Thank you to G-Man for communicating back and forth amongst us. Appreciate that a lot. Um, I did do um, a uh, interview with G-Man, and uh, I apologize if I came off as harsh or anything, because I was having trouble breathing on that one a lot. So, yeah, that was an issue. And then I talked to Sarah about my chart, and uh, G-Man, if you could send me that video, it may have been too rough to put up all together, but it was interesting, and I'll tell you why, guys, that I wanted to talk to her is... When there was the switch made, when I was switched into a different body uh, the by the bad guys, the good guys tried to do what they could energetically to help that uh, the position that I was being put in with that really bad family. And I was curious as to how successful they had been in, in that uh, attempt because they could not change where I was going to be born. Uh, that was a given when the when I was switched to the other family, but they did have a lot of leeway as to what day and what time that they could affect that, and it sounds like they did what they could do. Uh, it was interesting, the stuff that she had to say, especially about the time whenever I died um, on the chart, but yeah, it was an interesting discussion. So... Yeah, the big picture here is that all those planets, they they have energies that affect you whenever you're energetically brought onto any planet, and it helps you get here, and it also helps you get off of the planet, those alignments, <clears throat> those planetary energies. <clears throat> and you pick them usually. <laughs> so, yeah, that was interesting. That was an interesting discussion. And then... Uh, you guys know that I monetized my YouTube site, and this is what they do, is they are um, flagging like two-thirds of my videos that they aren't appropriate for advertisers, and it looks like this is either, uh, that this is just an arbitrary thing that they're doing, and then you can ask for a review of this, you can say, oh no, it is good for everybody. And then they'll come back with, well, if I don't have a thousand views within seven days, uh, they don't bother to do a review. So it pretty much cuts me out from being <laughs> monetized. So I'm thinking about just completely taking the monetization back off and so you guys won't be bothered with the ads and just putting my donate button back on and leaving it at that. So if you guys want to help uh, me with money on the trip or anything else, then you can just make a donation to that button. But, um, yeah. And then Stephanie will just handle that part of the, the business because I just simply don't have time at this point to do that too. Uh, I am really, really trying hard to get this book done before the beginnings of my trip. So I'll probably be making less videos, but I say that and then I'll pick up the phone and do a video. So who knows what will actually happen. I'm kind of just trying to make this trip kind of a go with the flow thing, but I'll be straight up with you guys. I, I think a lot of people are worried about not having a home. I get uncomfortable when I don't have a vehicle to drive. Uh, I think it's a way to escape type thing and I'm working on that fear. It's not really a fear now. Now it's just kind of a you know, kind of an annoyance in the back of my head that I'm trying to get over. Hey, do you guys want to see, see, uh, blue and, can you see blue? Can't see if you can see. 
Anyway, uh, could you see him? Because I can't tell if you can see him. Anyway, that's uh, Blue and Inca. They've really, the new puppy and her have just really latched on together. Okay, so um, I'm going to go in a little bit more about this Trump thing, and then I'm going to drop it forever because it's kind of ended up being like this vegan thing that has caused a lot more uh, drama than I had intended, and I don't like drama, and I don't like negativity. So let me explain this from my perspective, and this is me. Uh, I have been aware of the Clintons for a very long time, so I had a lot of, uh, since the 20s, we lived very close to Missouri, so uh, yeah, there was a lot of information that I got about those guys. And so once you have a belief system or a background, it's really hard to just get out of it. So from the perspective that I was at at the time of the Hillary Trump, um, Hillary Trump thing, uh, presidential campaign, I knew that with, in looking at the timelines, that the timelines with Hillary we're going to be very bad, and most people that are listening to me would have been on those timelines, and they were very, very bad. Nothing that I would be interested in at all, and I knew that I couldn't get out of those timelines. Now, are there time timelines where Hillary is a good person? Sure, but they are way outside of the ones that I would be able to access. Uh, through the through the denseness of moving through those timelines because it is dense down here to get over to those timelines She was an awesome person when she was young I was not on those timelines and to get all the way over there. I was not on uh, The timelines where I was 57 There are there were no accessible good Hillary timelines now whenever I tell you there's infinite aspects of you and the infinite um timelines there are but there are timelines where you died when you were a day old and there are timelines where you died when you're 150 years old everything in between so just because there's an infinite timeline doesn't mean that there's an aspect of you throughout the whole thing there isn't uh depending upon what that is now and what what happened was i could not access the timelines where Hillary was better and the ones that that she wasn't so bad I did not exist at 57 so what you could access is you but it has nothing to do with me uh, and I'm not, not going to say that you guys couldn't have accessed um, Hillary Clinton in good timelines you very likely might have been able to but that wasn't me I couldn't and because of that, that is why I made the option that I, that I did. Now, when it comes to practically speaking, uh, really, guys, you need to stop looking backwards, as I've told you over and over and over again, because looking backwards in your present belief system of time, space, and it going from point A to point Z in a linear way, it doesn't do you any good to moan about the fact that, that Hillary lost or won, or whether she's good or not. It's irrelevant if you are on a timeline where Trump won. So now you have a choice. You are on the timelines where Trump won. It's that simple. So now you have a choice moving forward. Stop looking backwards and getting into a fight with the Trump supporters, and the Trump supporters need to quit getting into a fight with Hillary supporters and move forward. This doesn't do you any good to get into arguments. That is what the bad guys want you to do. They want you to argue amongst yourselves because argument now in the fourth dimension is based on judgment and that will, that will keep you absolutely in the fourth dimension. Now, if you're in the fourth dimension and you'd like to stay here, then there are some things that you need to know. You need to know that in the fourth dimension you are absolutely, as a human, you are absolutely going to be introduced to alien cultures. But understand this, the human beings are considered very much like trained monkeys. They're very low uh, as far as, as being knowledgeable or enlightened uh, according to the rest of the uh, entities out there that you're going to be introduced to. And some of them will very patiently want to teach you 
and the other ones will want to cage you and put you to work. But you've got to understand that you're, that is the role that you have right now. Uh, in order to get to be in the lowest densities, the lowest um, vibrations in third, uh, in on the third level, then you had to slow, slow way down. And for whatever reason, whether you're a star seed and you came to help Gaia, or you're long-term human and you just wanted to experience those. Um, you wanted to experience those vibrations, nonetheless, in coming out of it, you are still considered like you don't uh, understand very many things that they understand. And it's just like if um, people from the United States and the first worlds go into the deep jungles and they find original peoples, they consider... Uh, themselves better than these original peoples well that's how the aliens will look at you guys and um, yeah that's how that's how to work so I just want you guys to know that uh, as you decide to choose the fourth dimension and if you're going to stay in the fourth dimension understand that it is based on judgment so there's a lot of judgment of you and of everything around you and all these different aliens will be judging each other and there's a lot of competition um, and I'm better than you type thinking going on in the fourth dimension. Now, if you're going to go to the fifth dimension, you've got to stop judging. You've got to stop judging. You've got to stop judging uh, Trump or Hillary or or a vegan, or meat eaters, or smokers and non-smokers, or first world and third world. You have to stop all of the judgment, all of the time. It's just the only way that you can get there. And that makes sense because you're headed towards unity consciousness. And in unity consciousness, you can't think that you're better than somebody when you're trying to figure out and remember that you are all a part of one that everybody uh, played their role in their game, and it is just a game and a role that they played, they came down to play. And as a role, that does not mean that's who they are, okay? Who they are is a creator God that's always been and always will be, okay? So you have to remember and see people from that perspective, that they are creator gods, that they, everybody is the same. There's no one that is better than anyone else. Uh, which leads me to another thing. Anytime you've t you're talking uh, or listening to anyone from anywhere that talks about any kind of hierarchy of any kind, whether it's a, a spiritual hierarchy of angelic beings or ascended masters, or if there is a, a council that is over um, anyone else, all of that is fourth dimension. Because the only way that you can decide whether or not someone is better than someone else is, is to judge them. Okay? In fifth dimension and uh, beyond in this cre creation, then there is no judgment. There is just acceptance. There's this, this uh, incredible amount of interest with the role that you played, the game that you played, and what you thought of it, what you got out of it, and this acceptance and excitement that what the other person experienced will be added to the whole, and you have access to it. And in this moment in fifth dimension on the planet earth the person that you're talking to that you have one-on-one -on -one firsthand um ability to talk to them and find out their um feelings their story uh straight out of their mouth and in the fifth dimension that becomes extremely interesting to all of us and to the aliens that come and talk to us and us to other aliens now Although Earth has been the most intense, like I've told you, open to the most vibrations along the feeling spectrum, so to speak, that there is out there. There were other 3D beings that were on different planets that didn't have quite this, 
spectrum who will probably show up on 5D Earth that will you will be communicating with that will be fascinating for you to again have firsthand knowledge of their experience uh, what they knew what they were told how how they were uh, taken down to those lower vibrations and in 5d on those lower levels you're gonna have an understanding of how that was done uh, there won't be any anger towards the beings that did it uh, the the higher you get the more you you can look at the game objectively and there is not the frustration and the fear and the anger that you had while you were in 3d and possibly parts of 4d that you, there's an understanding of how it all happened and how it all worked and like I've told you guys before my videos are meant to trigger your own knowingness and the videos that I ask you guys to put up towards each other and with each other uh, G-Man's doing a great job at facilitating this you never know what conversation you're going to hear what question is going to be answered that might trigger yourself or someone else's memory in some way once that starts to crack and if you're listening to me it already has cracked then you've got a choice you can either get caught in the argument about whether or not Hillary's a good person or a bad person or which stop, tries to stop the crack you're trying to try to plaster that crack back up you're trying to keep it together you're trying to keep your story intact or you're going to turn the other way not be bothered with that sort of thing and go to the next one that will trigger the next crack and eventually those cracks will start to do like cracks in a window do or cracks of anything do and they'll start to splinter more and more and more until bits and pieces start to absolutely fall away and when they fall away they'll stop falling away in bigger and bigger chunks and you will get closer and closer to remembering what I remember and that is the point that is the reason why you're listening to me and if you're not ready for that that's fine if it starts to feel uncomfortable listening to me then you've heard enough for now so just go to other videos and go to things that make you feel happy and go away maybe you'll come back to my video someday maybe you won't that's cool doesn't matter what matters is you feeling good as long as you're feeling good in whatever you're listening to then you're going down the right track if you start to feel bad about something um, and we'll give the case in point with the vegan fight and the Trump Hillary fight if things start to feel bad to you then it probably is you probably shouldn't be listening to me anyway not for now because you you have to uh, you have to be ready for those cracks otherwise uh, you're just trying to pla plaster them you're, you're cracking and then plastering and clacker uh, cracking and then plastering and I've seen people do this I can feel them doing this instead of just relaxing into the moment just taking what you've what you've watched to me that felt good and felt right and just leave it at that for now and move on to something else <clears throat> and do it at your own pace go with your instincts but I guarantee you that any kind of uh, defensiveness argument fighting uh, that you're doing is not serving you and it will not never ever ever get you to move higher vibrationally okay it will never do that in 5d it is an acceptance of all perspectives as being valid and important to the whole all perspectives which is why I threw out the, uh, the 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 videos where plants have consciousness too I threw out the my feelings and my choice of timelines in the Hillary Trump uh, debate and why uh, the reason why I uh, will poke at those things just a little bit to see where you are for you to see where you are because if you react strongly to any of those things then you're you may not be ready to uh, increase vibrations like I said I'm moving I've slowed down some uh, to talk to as many people as I can but I'm still moving pretty pretty fast 
So in order to get to moving higher and higher, you have to lose the judgment. And we've been raised uh, judging everything all the time, all day long. Okay? So you're still going to judge whether or not you want to wear this dress or that dress in the morning, whether or not you're going to put your hair up or down. But you see, there's no resistance in those choices, in those judgments. And then they become not judgments, but choices. I think I've said that before. And the word, word choice has no uh, resistance to it whatsoever at all. It's simply, this is a good thing and this is a good thing. Which one do I choose right now? Where it's judgment is, I'm going to choose this and not that because this is better and this is the reason why. Okay? So as I've stepped you through these videos over time, I've tried to walk you through um, letting you know my story, letting you know where I came from and where I'm going, and this is the why of it all, and this is the how of it all. And without going into a great deal of, of detail about how things are run on this planet and how they've kept uh, everybody in the and gotten everybody to the lower vibrations i've given you just a spattering of that but there's plenty of it online if you really want to know what it is the bad guys they don't hide it they haven't for a long time uh, all of it's online but i've tried to give it to you from the perspective of that is what it took to get to the lower vibrations which is what people wanted to experience okay that is what they wanted to experience i have tried to give it to you i've not gone into the history of the world because it's too big it's too much i i you got i've, I've had people want to give me the history of the world they wanted me to give a complete explanation of the other side well guys that is, I cannot explain to you, if I was verbally explaining to you, how the human eye works, I could not do it verbally in under probably 10 years. And then I probably wouldn't get it done. You see, because it's that complicated, it, it's that layered. Well, the same thing is true with those other things you want me to talk about. They're just way too complex. So I have chosen instead to do videos in a manner that hopefully will trigger your own uh, remembering. Lose some of that amnesia. Because when you lose the amnesia, then you'll remember things and you'll remember them in blocks uh, much more completely than what I can explain them to you. Over time, the, the leaders of the great leaders have tried to tell people how to to remember who they are how to reach enlightenment and although it will work for a certain amount of people because we're all so different coming from so many different places moving through time and space so quickly it is very it is impossible in my opinion it's impossible to give a, a book on how to to reach enlightenment because it, it really is so different for each and every one of us. So that is what my videos are here for. They're trying to get you to remember your way. Because we're now at the place where those enlightened people have given generalities that have gotten people to this point. But now we're to the point where you're going to have to do the rest of it on your own. That as you move those billion times per second through timelines... And you're going to do that alone. You, you will have in each timeline stop, that Planck second that that scientist was talking about, you will have creator gods that agree with you in that split second, that billionth of a second, that will agree with you in that moment, but you're quickly going to change to another one and another one and another one with different creator gods. Now, most people jump back and forth between... Uh, a certain range of timelines but those of you who are listening to my videos wanting to move very fast up you are not going to want to do that anymore so your automatic impulse in defending your position on something which is the way that you've all done it in the past that will keep you within that certain range of timelines 
But if you're wanting to move to uh, very fast to a certain place in 4D or out to 5D and beyond, then you can't do what you've always done. Because you can't do what you've always done if you expect different results, right? That's the, the definition of crazy insanity. So you're going to have to do things differently. And that means you're going to have to stop defending your position. And you're going to have to start accepting others' position. So think of it that, that you walked through a forest and you saw the forest this way. And you walked, somebody else walked right behind you. And now you're, and another one behind you, and a hundred behind them, and another behind them at the end of the, the walk. You all sit around a campfire and you explain, you describe in as much detail as you can your walk. So instead of uh, what you have done or what people have done is sit and fight around that campfire and say, no, um, I went on the same walk you did and my way is right. This is my perception. This is my perspective. This is my opinion and I am right. So instead of doing that, which is what you have been doing or a lot of people have been doing, now I want you the new way to raise vibrations quickly is to sit around that campfire and ask other people's perception, perspective, and include it into yours. Say, oh, that's awesome. I am going to accept your perspective because we are all one, and I want to see it, know it, feel it, add it to who I am. Because you are me, and I am you. So therefore, your perspective, opinion, and... Uh, the, the experience that you had is important to me to add to mine because we are one. And because I'm in a human body suit and I can only experience and see so much, I want yours to add to mine so I can get closer to unity consciousness and the closer to the all that is because I want that knowingness. Okay? Now, as you know, I've said this over and over again, absolutely nothing wrong with staying in the fourth dimension. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. But let me be very clear on this. The earth is not the only, 3D, 4D earth is not the only planet that you can go on or place that you can go on and feel things and see things and taste things. Okay, there are infinite number of places that you can have the physical experience there are infinite places that you can have the physical experience without those lower dense vibrations that are translated by your skin suit as being painful okay so you by leaving the third and fourth dimension you are not giving up physicality if you're a physical being don't be afraid that you won't be able to have that physical experience again because there are infinite number of games and places where you can experience physicality. Physicality in itself, it's very, very common out there in all the games, is one of the favorite ways for we creator gods to experience things. Now, you've heard me say that I do physical less often than some others. And I do physical far less often than a lot of entities do. But that's just my preference. That's all. That's all that is. But there is physicality all over the place. Uh, the unique thing about 3D, 4D is the denseness, the lower vibrations that are experienced here. The extreme. It's, it's kind of like, um, it's, it's kind of like, you know, people climbing to the top of Mount Everest without oxygen. And you know that that is painful. It's scary. It's it's uh, very, very life-threatening. A lot of people die doing it, but they do it for the experience of it. Well, that's why people do the 3D, 4D thing. They know it's going to be scary. They know that it's going to be painful. Long-term humans knew that, know that when they keep coming back. But they enjoy the challenge. They want to have that experience. They don't want to just have an experience of physical where it feels good. 
they want to go see if they can what that experience is in the lower uh, vibrations okay all right so i think this is a bunch of really random things again so maybe this will be random thoughts part two somebody was excited to hear uh to get random parts random thoughts part two so so far i've been able to breathe shallowly and it wasn't it's not too bad so as long as i can uh do that and do a video um, i'll keep doing it but with that pain in my side there it, it does tend to furrow the black brow a little bit and i do come across a little bit more firm uh, that is not my intention i love you all and uh it's it so don't take it personal it is not that it, it is trying to manage the pain and talking at the same time and uh looks like uh my trip is shaping up to be starting about the first week in december to uh, sometime in the middle the end of january ish I'll be in Florida towards the middle to the end of January along there. So, uh, yeah, if anybody's in from Chicago to Buffalo, New York, to New Hampshire, Maine, to all the way down the East Coast, if you're anywhere along there and uh, you, wanna, you want me to give you a holler and maybe we can have coffee or something, well, then say something in the comments below. If I don't get the comments, the rest of you guys, if I don't write back to them, um, catch them for me, will you? Because I don't get all the comments. Uh, yeah. All right. I guess that's it. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. Weather is absolutely phenomenal. I think about 70s. So it's so, so nice here. And I'm out here in the forest with all my animals, all my dogs and cats running around me. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, beautiful out here. I hope you guys are having as wonderful a day as I am. And if not, well, start having a better day. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs all around. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.